This right here is perhaps one of the most comprehensive but also well thought out on-camera microphones I've ever seen. Alongside the B10 and B1M, the new range-topping ECM M1 is the smallest and lightest of the three, but also deceivingly the most advanced. There are two main things that make this an exceptional mic for me. First, the sheer number of pickup patterns you get to choose from, and second is the very clever way it handles your safety backup channels. I should also mention that throughout the entirety of this video, all audio you're listening to is from the ECM M1 recording into this FX30 right here, so hopefully that should be sufficient to paint you a pretty good picture in terms of sound quality. And now, onto pickup patterns. You've got eight to choose from. There is now a full-on lockable dial on the back instead of the old three-position switch for selecting pickup patterns. Now, among the eight selections, three of them are front-facing patterns in increasing directionality. The widest front address pattern is called unidirectional, followed by super directional, then ultra directional. So I'm beside a road, granted it's not the busiest road in the world, but this right now is the unidirectional mode and I have just switched it to the super directional mode. Bus coming by, and now, since more cars are coming by, this is the ultra directional mode. This is supposed to be the most directional one, the one that rejects ambient noise the best. And just for comparison's sake, this is what it sounds like in omnidirectional mode. So my voice versus all this happening in the environment, directivity. I wanted to point out how incredible the off-axis rejection for the ultra-directional mode is. If I start to pan this FX30 away from me, by the time I'm directly behind the microphone, my voice is almost completely gone. So, massively useful for picking out a voice in a noisy location. On the other end of the spectrum is... This... Omnidirectional mode. Then it doesn't matter which direction the sound is coming from, it all gets picked up evenly. There is also a rear super directional mode, which is identical to the super directional mode that faces in front, except this time it points back towards the operator. So if I speak in front of the camera, I don't get anything. The voice is all coming from behind the camera. And then there's this mode, which combines the signal from the rear super directional mode and the front super directional mode together. So essentially a figure of eight pickup pattern which means you don't get a lot of signal from the sides, but back and front very much yes, not the sides. Now, this next mode is the same, except it isolates both the front and back signals onto the left and right channels individually. This way in post, you get to manually mix the balance between the sounds coming from in front and behind the camera. Just gonna take a bit of a walk down this way. So the front and rear directivities are isolated, which should technically give me independent control over the sounds coming from the front of the camera and this very annoying voice talking over everything coming from right behind the camera. Hopefully this gives a bit more flexibility in terms of mixing in post and that is a school. Those are cars. This is exactly what happens when you have no idea what to say. Just um, another car, trash cans. This is starting to feel a bit like an accessibility feature. Coming to think of it, it's actually kind of like a stereo recording rotated 90 degrees, which brings us to the final pickup pattern. Good old stereo. Now, I really like this one because the majority of on-camera microphones across the board are mono. So more often than not, upgrading your in-camera audio does mean losing stereo, but not with this one. In fact, losing audio is not really gonna be a thing with the M1 because of this next thing I wanted to talk about. Let me switch it back to ultra directional mode. Now, looking at the mic itself, it's not a very obvious feature, because in order to take advantage of this, you need to go into your camera's menu and set your audio recording to the four channel mode. You now have two safety backup channels in the extra channels three 
and 4. In channel 3, it will always record in the omnidirectional pattern, regardless of which directivity you've picked for channels 1 and 2. Channel 4 contains the same recording as channel 3, but 20 decibels softer. So this covers you on two bases, in case you messed up in terms of sound direction, or amplitude, like someone gets a bit too excited and yells right into your microphone. This could also be super useful for, say, the ultra-directional mode, where sounds coming from behind are practically muted. For example, your camera's pointing the other way, and someone says something really important off-camera. You know it's not going to be recorded onto channels 1 and 2, at least not clearly, but it very well will be on channel 3, because it's always omni. This is so incredibly cool because it's essentially a single microphone that can record simultaneously in two pickup patterns. Really taking advantage of the fact that it's a fully digital beamforming microphone. It's processing the same set of signals differently to achieve distinct directionalities. But a final note on this is in order to take full advantage of these features, you do need to make sure that you are using it with a Sony camera which supports the digital audio interface through the MI shoe. Off the top of my head, a few models which I know will work with this are the 7S Mark III, 7 Mark IV, FX3, FX30. There's usually a full list published on Sony's website, and I'll link it below if I can find it. But this right here is an accessory you'll definitely not mind just tossing in your bag. You can tell it's aimed at the more savvy users, but the versatility and safety that it offers makes it extremely compelling for just about anyone. It really does feel like having multiple microphones super positioned within this cableless, unintrusive package. And it's good to know that it's got you covered in more ways than one.